So in this video, we were dealing with spinners. And in this diagram, as it says here in the description, the first spinner has scores. So the spinner is our first spinner. One, two, and three. And the second spinner, that's the spinner, has one, two, three, four. And they're telling us that the one, two, and three are equally likely, and the one, two, three, four are equally likely. Uh, we want to look at the following probability of each event. First event, the total of the scores on the two spinners is two. The only way for that to happen, let's see, is if we get a one and a one. So there's a one out of three chance on the first spinner, a one out of four chance on the second spinner. So there's a one out of 12 chance of that happening altogether. The total of the scores on the two spinners is three. Okay, so the total is three. So what could happen? You can get a one and then a two. So that's the first way. Let's say one third times one fourth, or plus, you're trying to get a three. You can get a two and then a one, which is also another third and times a fourth. And I believe that's it, right? That's just uh, one twelfth plus one twelfth, which is two twelfths or one sixth. Next one. The total of the scores on the two spinners is five. Okay, so how could, what are some ways we can do that? We can get three and two. We can get one and four. And we can get two and three. And that's it. So there are three ways for that to happen. And each of those is a third times a fourth. So there are three ways for that to happen, and that's going to guess one fourth, right? A three times a third is one, and that's one fourth. Okay. The total of the scores in the two spinners is not five, so we know that this is the probability that they are five. So let's take the complement of that, and we get the other rules: three fourths. All right. Hope this helped.